it makes you a better person, a better teammate. I were honored today that are living proof of that. Welcome to Senior Day. Welcome to the end and the beginning. Hello again, everybody at War Eagle. I'm Rod Bramble with Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith and Brad Law inside Auburn Arena. It marks the end of five Auburn careers here at home. Bryce, Horace, Cole, Malik, and Willie. Four players and a manager who chose Auburn because they knew it would lead them to great things, and it has. It's also just the beginning. After today, it's a new season. It's what you work for all year long to experience. A chance to play for championships, for a school, for a place that has prepared you for just that. But first, one more time in this building for the five who were boys when they came here and now leave as Auburn men. Ball tossed up in the air. Tennessee controls the tap. They'll go from left to right as we watch things. Auburn playing man for man. Kyle Alexander between the rings over to Schofield. Inside to Grant Williams. Almost lost it. Back out to Schofield. Back it goes to Williams. Outside the arc. Works on Spencer. Tries to back him into the paint. Sweeping through. Shooting and scoring off the front iron. Grant Williams announces his presence right off the bat. Well, he's great at turning to his right shoulder and shooting the ball. He's an ex exceptional shooter turning to that shoulder. Tennessee up 2-0. Jared Harper drives, kicks in the corner for Bryce Brown. Flips it back out to Jared, around to Malik, into the corner. Chuma, three on the way. Good! Tremendous passing, rotating the ball, side to side. Williams dribbles right, on the wing, holds it now. And the corner, quick catch and through, shoot three on the way by Lamonte Turner is good. Tennessee uh, leads five to three. He's exceptional from there. He can knock them down. He shoots a good percentage every game from there. Harper, top of the key. Reverses it back here to Chuma. Hands it off to Bryce. 16 to shoot. Bryce Brown. Ball toss stolen away. And up ahead, here's a breakaway and Bone with the dunk. That's, a, that's an unusual turnover by Bryce. They, are, they have jammed him immediately when he gets the ball so he can't go from side to side like he does with the dribble to get around people. That's a scouting thing right there. 7-3, Tennessee the early lead. Bruce Pearl talked about how this Tennessee team, every game, they get out to a good start. They do. So the key for Auburn, one of the keys, is just to kind of hang in there with them for the first four, yeah. six, seven, eight minutes. Harper down the lane, off the glass, no. Spencer the rebound, he's fouled. Schofield got him. And that's the first good. foul. I don't think so. Nope, called on the floor before the shot, so Schofield oh, picks man. up his first foul. And to Spencer, out to Chuma. They're still playing man on out-of-bounds plays. Sometimes they play zone, Tennessee, I'm speaking of. Okiki on the drive, cut out, throws it back out to Chuma. Corner for Bryce, launches the three. And it bounces off no good. Tennessee the rebound and the lead. Here comes Boyne. Bone up the floor. Crosses midcourt to Turner. Out front to Williams. Around it goes to Bone. Top of the key for Williams. Back to Bone. Long, long three is sh short. And Malik gets in there for the rebound. Outlet to Harper. Harper in midcourt. Tigers down by four. Sideline for Brown. Inside to Chuma. Works on Williams. Forces one up over Williams. Missed it. Rebound Alexander. Tennessee will slowly bring it up the floor with a 7-3 lead. Got to have a stop. Don't want it to get off to a quick start. Bone high on the right side to Schofield. Sideline against Dunbar. Middle lane to Alexander. Turnaround shot is a little long over uh, Chuma. Makes, Rebound to Chuma. Make somebody besides Williams shoot the ball, and that's what we did. Dunbar for three. Got it! One-point lead for Tennessee, 7-6. to six. Playing well from the three-point line right now, two for three. Ball against Brown up the floor. Angles around the screen, down the lane, to the rim. Lays it up and good, too easy. Well, they sealed off our post defender. He was fronting the guy, so they just blocked him, left a wide-open drive to the lane. It was not a easy. It was looked easy, but it wasn't easy. 9-6, three-point Tennessee lead. Dunbar takes it from Harper between the rings to Spencer. Now over to Bryce, left side of the floor. Reverses to Chuma. Head fake at three, drives baseline. Has his pass deflected out and stolen by Tennessee. Turner, one on two. Had it stripped by Brown. He took it away from him. Here come the Tigers. Bryce, cross court to Harper. Long three. No. Rebound, Spencer. 
and he's fouled on the floor. I got it. You got to love that. If we can get their inside people in foul trouble, that could be a winning point in this basketball game. Inbounds to Dunbar. Boy, Tennessee's big inside now with the addition of Fulkerson. Now Harper has it. 23 to shoot, down by three. Jordan Bone on him. Harper around the right side, reverses to Chuma. Corner for Dunbar. Malik launches another one and missed it. Rebound on the backside by Jordan Bowden, who just checked in. One of the good. best six men in the entire country. Block, lockouts are, are good right now by Tennessee. Bowden around to Bone. 17 to shoot to Fulkerson at the top. Now to Bone on the left wing. Left of the keyhole. Swings it over here to Schofield. Schofield against Harper. That's a mismatch. Schofield falls down, but he gets it to Bowden. A runner jumper from the free throw line is good. Schofield leads the league in flops. That was a flop. We're going to score a basket. At the other end, McLemore lays it in. Auburn got in behind the defense. They cut it to three. 11-8 Tennessee, 15-09 to go in the first half. Bone on the right side of the floor for the Volunteers. Corner for Bowden. Now to Bone on the wing. Boy, the crowd's into the game. Here's Bowden in front of the Auburn bench. Back out to Bone, 10 on the shot clock. Schumer guarding him there to Bowden. Three on the way. Good. Well defended three. Another very good shooter from the three-point line. Shoots 34. They all shoot good. Bowden off the bench with five points in about a 90-second span, and they lead by six, 14 to eight. That, that was defended pretty yep, well. Absolutely it was. Schuma drives, skips it out to Malik, to Harper, to McLemore. Three, good. The ball movement is getting us wide open threes. We're sharing the ball exceptionally well. I love it. And Auburn gets stops. It's been a little bit of a difficulty. Tennessee's done a good job moving the basketball themselves. Yes, they have. Three-point volunteer lead. 14-11, 14-11 to go. In a half. Schofield inside Alexander. Knocked away. Fulkerson then. He missed the layup. And the backside rebound to Anthony McLemore. Up ahead, Harper. Two Brown. To the free throw line, to the rim, lays it up, missed it. Oh, my goodness, missed the layup. Should have had it. Got to help. They got five on four. And ball for three, missed it long. Dunbar missed, timed his jump. Out to Bowden, and his shot partially blocked. McLemore comes down with it. Oh, great. That was block. Chuma, who came out of nowhere to get a piece. Brown to tie at the other end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Get in, the, get in the game, crowd. I don't think I'm going to ask them. They already there. 14 all, 13.30 to go. Both. Defense led to offense that time. Yes, it did. Two times already. Ball left side of the floor. Multiple substitutions coming up for both teams. Here's Schofield. A pull up two over Dunbar's. Got it. Oh, Tennessee, you leave them open, but for an instant, and they'll knock that down. That was just a dribble towards the baseline after a pump fake. Six, we fell for the fake. Yep. 16-14 volunteers, 13 minutes to go on the half. Harper crosses midcourt. Hey, we've been going at a pretty good pace here. Still haven't had our first time out of the game. Harper around a screen for three in the lead. Way too hard. Rebound long to bounce. He needs to make a shot because that's what he wants to do to get himself into the game. Oop. Bone on the sideline. Bone on the drive. Bone uh, trapped up in the air and tried to dump it off. Lost it. Turnover Tennessee. Bryce Brown up the floor. Bryce across to Harper. Harper behind the back. Threw it out of bounds. And Jared's just got to take a breath. Jared's so good. He's so good. But right now he's trying to do it a little too much. On the yeah. shot, he's taking bad shots. And right there, just a, a too much to ask for on that bounce pass behind the back to Malik Dunbar as it goes out of bounds. Five baskets for Auburn, all five assisted baskets. If that trend that, continues, Auburn's going to win the Tennessee's game. Tennessee's supposed to guard that better than anybody, and Tennessee leads in that, uh, that category of assists. Jalen Johnson in the game for Tennessee. He'll go over to Bone. Can't drive baseline on McCormick, who's in there. Dangel Purifoy in there as well. Inside to Williams. Knocked away by McCormick. Tennessee maintains possession. They'll whip it around to Bone for three. In and out, no. And the rebound kicks off to Samir Dowdy. Uh, they very rarely miss from that corner. They're dead ball from there. Dowdy on the floor. Cross it goes to Javon McCormick. All right, let's get a basket inside. We're living on three right now. Basket inside will make them guard inside. Here's Purifoy. He'll put up a three. Nope. Long rebound to Tennessee. All right. Still in by three, but we're going to get one inside, and that'll make that defense play different. Williams head fake at three. 
Works on McLemore. Turnaround jumper is good. He's exceptional. He can turn to either shoulder and he can knock him down. Yep, you let him back in like that, you don't have much chance. 18 14 Tennessee. Left side Dowdy. Dowdy drives, kick out around to McCormick. McCormick throws it back out to Samir. 12 to shoot. Samir slashes, throws it corner, back out to McElmore, around to Purifoy to Harper. Harper penetrates back out to Anthony for three at the top. Nope. Rebound tapped out and a, and a foul on Dowdy coming over the back. Auburn pressing in backcourt on the inbound. Horace Spencer back out on the floor. Davon McCormick guarding the Lamonte Turner into front court. Tony to shoot. Turner bounce it, feeds it to Bound. Right elbow jumper's good. I tell you what, every guy on their team can score. So you can't let up on anybody. And when they run you off screens, you got to be following them and be right on them. Auburn right in it, down by six. Tennessee playing well. McCormick drives it up off to Spencer and gets fouled going up for the shot. First going to foul that whole team out if we get him the ball. <laughs> Making a $25 donation to Coach Pearl's Outlive Cancer Initiative, benefiting local cancer patients. First free throw good for Spencer. What a career that young man has yeah. had. He came here as a non-shooter. He got a little bit better, but no. If they gave a trophy for effort, he'd win it most every game. Second one short, but rolls in. Auburn trails by four. Admiral Schofield back in, but it's Jordan Bone. He just races up the floor past everyone, kicks it out to Schofield, yeah, that's the best and way. hits the three. That's the best way they shoot the three. Drive, pull you in on the break, throw it back out. Seven-point Tennessee lead, 23-16. McCormick, right side, outside the arc. Still dribbling around to the top of the key. To Dowdy on the wing, 11 to shoot. Horace wants it instead. Dowdy will dribble around and shoot a three with six on the shot clock and missed it wide left. Spencer the rebound, put back, missed it, rebound. Jordan Bone. Auburn's missed a couple of point-blank range shots when they have gotten it inside. And that's... Uh, Right now, that's a bit of a difference. Williams left wide open for three. Missed it long. Rebound long to Angel Purifoy. Hands it off to McCormick. McCormick through traffic and a reach-in foul behind Von Lamonte Turner. Here's Anthony. Hands it off to Bryce. Drives it in, and he gets fouled. Well, I think they got it on Schofield. Let's see. Yep, that's two on Admiral Schofield. And that's good. That's one guy. If you had to pick one guy other than Williams you wanted out of there, it'd be Schofield. In to Dowdy, out to Javon, top of the key for McLemore. Back over to McCormick, right side of the floor. Bounces it to Samir. Samir can't get to the rim, out to McLemore for three. Missed it short, rebound Tennessee. Now get back. Turner up the middle of the floor. Turner around the screen, left wing. Top of the key to Alexander. Hands it off to Bowden. Bowden back to Alexander, 10-footer on the way. Short, long, rebound backside, Bryce Brown. Went up over Grant, over Grant Williams to get it. All right. down by seven. They need a bucket. Great rebound by Bryce Brown. Down by seven. Here's McCormick. Catch. Pull up two on the way. Javon rolls it in. That young man has been a great addition to this program. Almost stole it from Bone. Five-point Tennessee lead. 8.50 to go. Here's Bowden. You cannot let Bowden. Well, you can't let him curl off the screen to his right shoulder or his left shoulder because he's got the ball going up quick as it hits his hand. Yep. Got to defend better than that, Rod. That's nine points for Bowden. Most of them have been uncontested. Dowdy drives from the wing. Throws it back out for Bryce. A three on the way. Good. Bryce Brown cuts it to four. They're trying to draw a foul on Okiki out in the middle of the floor. Turner. Wild shot. But he knew Alexander was right there to get the rebound and jam it home. Well, That's that, all that was. He knew yes. Alexander was there, so he knew he could throw it up wild off the glass. Yes. Chuma for three at the other end. Good at the bottom of the net. Chuma Kiki buries it. And it's a three-point game. I can't keep up with it. Uh, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. 27-24. Tennessee leads by three. Here's Bowden again. Out to Bone. Now to Bowden. He has a hot hand. Another three, and it's good. Bowden's killing us off the dribble, off the pass, off the reversal, and playing defense. Boy, tell you what, I thought it'd be Williams or Schofield, but look what he's doing to us. 
Bowden averages 10 points per game. He has 12 already. Price at the top of the key, guarded by Turner. 20 or 30 to 24 Tennessee. They are shooting almost 60%. Yeah. <laughs> Here's McCormick trying to draw the foul on the drive. Hands it off to Chuma with six. Launches it over Alexander with five. Rush the shot. Ball uh, in the Bowden's hand, Bones hands, and McCormick reaches in and fouls. One thing's got to happen. When they screen across or screen down, we're going to have to get over those screens and cover those shooters. Tennessee has the basketball, a chance to take the biggest lead of the game with a bucket. They've led by as many as seven. Turner thought about the three, out to Bones, 16 to shoot. Feeds it to Williams on the right wing, 11 to shoot, spins. Kicks it back out. Bone for three on the way. That's good. Good Lord. They're, they're knocking them down from a parking lot. Well, Auburn isn't exactly the best three-point defensive team in the league. That's been one weakness on this team, and Tennessee has taken advantage of it with five for ten shooting out there in this first half. We were in zone the last time down. Nine-point lead for the Volunteers. Brown, left sideline. Guarded out there by Alexander. Now launches the three and missed it. Rebound inside to Bowden. He's doing a little bit of everything. Bowden for him. has been the man. Tennessee a nine-point lead. 6-11 to go in the half. Dangerous part of the game right here if you're Auburn. Down by nine. You can't let them get away from you. Top of the key, Williams. Against Anthony McLemore. Up and under and shoots and scores. Just a tremendous Jay, play by a great play. We've got our hands up, but we're not enough pressure on him. He's pushing us toward the goal instead of us pushing him away from right. the goal. 5.45 to go. 11-point Tennessee lead, 35-24. Sideline for McLemore. Now to Harper in front of the Tennessee bench. To Okiki. Crossover, kick, corner, Dunbar. Puts it on the deck, drives underneath, forces one up, had it partially blocked. And right now, Tennessee re winning in every regard right now. Auburn's got to cinch it up, yeah. get a stop. Top of the key, Williams. Puts it on the deck, lost it, but it goes right to bone. Now to Turner, catch, shoot three on the way, off the iron. Bryce may have gotten a piece of that, closing yeah. out on the three. Better defense on the screen down curl play. Down by 11, Chumo Kiki has it. Back out to Harper, back into Chumo. Works on Williams, sweeps in there off the glass too hard. Rebound Alexander. They're giving Williams way too much respect. We can get a shot inside. Boom. Thought about the pull up, threw it back and through the hands. And here's Dunbar on the run out to Chuma for the two handed dunk, a Verizon dunk of the game. So we got another kind of similar basket right there. So I, I think that's why I call timeout. They're not getting back the way he wants them to. They lead by nine, 432 to go in the half. See if Auburn can finish this first half out strong. At the very least, they got to keep this thing down in single digits. Schofield on the wing. Right elbow to Williams, back across, Turner on the way for a three. In and out, no. So Alex and the rebound. Back out to Schofield, fresh 30 to Williams. Here's a two on the way at the top of the key. It's good. A little jab step, got some space, and it's an easy shot for Williams to make. Back to an 11-point lead. We were in a zone on that play. They might be in a zone right now. Let's check this out. I believe it might be. It could be a matchup. It is a zone. 37-26. Volunteers in the middle of the zone. The bounce pass goes to Okiki. Gets Alexander off his feet. Gets it to go and a foul. That, that young man is a fine basketball player. There's not a move that he cannot make fairly effectively. And that was a pump fake layup. So. I love to hear that assisted basket thing. Schuma rolls it in. That's a three-point play. Elevate your game with the new F F uh, Ford F-150. See your local Ford dealer. Today, I have time to get out to a dealership after the game today. Here's ba uh, Bone. Double teamed is uh, at the top. Or over here's uh, Johnson. Harper steals. Harper lays it up at the other end. It's a six-point game. We double teamed the ball on the side. Harper steals it and lays it in by turning his back to the defender, doing a great job. We're pressing. Bryce Brown encouraging the Auburn crowd to make more noise. 37-31 Tennessee. Bowden, he's had the hot hand. He drives it ahead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a terrible call by Joe Lindsay. Uh, that guy sold it, and Joe bought it. He shouldn't have bought that. Bowden up. dribbling right, angling into front court. He gave it, he gave it that and, little old And, and gave a hard twitch, and yeah. that's all it was. Joe, and as you would expect, at that point before that foul, it was 6-2 fouls 
Six on Tennessee, two on Auburn. So you got to yeah. start evening it up. Oh, you, that's what that amounted to. You can't tell me that doesn't happen. Oh, it does all the time. Turner to Williams around the bone. Reverses back out to Williams. Head fake at three. Had it stripped out of bounds. Whose is it? Auburn's. It touched Williams last. Grant Williams, who will yeah. most likely be the SEC player of the year for the second year in a row, didn't get the call. And, and, and Joe just went from being the best official in the league. I, I got him down to two now if he makes another <laughs> call like that. He's number two. Auburn can cut it to three with this three-pointer by Bryce Brown. It's in and out. All right, get back. Now, they will try to score on the snow. They're not going to run. Yeah, Turn across did. court to Bone. Baseline underneath reverse good. Just blew past everybody. He's been doing that to everybody this year. I'm sure from a scouting report, we've been aware of that. He's better to go and under the goal and come back on. That's what he did then. Had a five-point swing there. Auburn missed a three, and then Tennessee gets a two, and it went from a chance to cut it to three to an eight-point lead again for Tennessee. 2.19 to go. Chuma, two on the way. Good. Just outside, inside the arc, top of the key. That was a that was play called Horns. They lined up in Horns with two high post man. Hit the high post man. He just turned and knocked it down. 2.07, 2.06, volunteers. Left sideline for Turner. Holds it on his right hip. Around the screen to the top for another three. And that is short. Rebound fought for. That's Back to Tennessee, I think. Yeah. Way. Alexander couldn't control. Then Auburn had two guys underneath. They couldn't control. I think it was Dunbar that touched it last. Inbounds long to Turner. Over to Bowden in front of the Auburn bench. Top of the key for Williams. Right wing for Turner. Nice drive. Sensor gets down to help defensively. Then allow him to get to the bucket. Back out top to Walker. Derek Walker Jr. with 12. In trouble. Hands it to Williams with 10. Crowd thought that was a long five second. Here Williams. Williams kick out wide open bound for three he missed one oh he's human but the ball tips back out the ball and he misses the jumper Dunbar has it oh my goodness Dunbar shovels to Harper down the lane got absolutely drilled by Grant Williams and no foul call minute seven to go Joe's down to three now. Me, I want to have to. I, I hey, listen, if he went straight up, that's fine. But he went up and he had his hands down over the top of Harper. Well, Abadi was a foul, too. Even up the fouls here down the stretch in the first half. 39-33. Foul out on the wing. 47 seconds on the clock. Two on a shot clock. Here's Williams. Turns and shoots, and it's an air ball. Tennessee lost sight of the shot clock. Rick yeah. Barnes is livid at his team. Two times down the court, we have played outstanding defense, but too much body. All right, Auburn the basketball down by six. Big possession here. Harper down the middle of the lane. He'll say, all right, I just will take it to the rim on the finger roll, and if you don't touch me, great. All right, 33 seconds left, Rod. Four-point Tennessee lead. Crowd on their feet. Ball on the right sideline. Looking inside for Williams. Chuma guarding him pretty tight. Front and pretty good. Now Williams out to set a screen. Bone at the top. Ten to shoot. Williams now against Harper. Mismatch in favor of the balls. And that's call a block. Call a block on Harper. Williams spins, runs over him, and they get Jared on the block. <laughs> I, I think I, I, what he did there is I guess they say he got up underneath him. <laughs> I don't know what they said. But what they said could not make me believe that that was not a charge. Williams makes the free throw. He's an 83% shooter, third best in the league. Hey, that was a bad call. 40 to 35. We've had two bad calls in a row. We don't need that. Now, that's a charge right there. Second one good. Uh, let us get the ball down the floor without calling something foolish, will you? 41-35. Auburn can play for the last shot here in the first half. 12 seconds left. they got to get into it quick. They cannot stand it and hold it too long. Harper left side. Over it goes to Chuma. Long three on the way. Missed it. Rebound Tennessee, and that'll do it here in the half. And you can tell what this Auburn crowd thinks of this officiating crew. 
Jared Harper doing uh, the right thing. He's coming up to the official at the end of the half and just asking, okay, what do I, what did I do? What do I need to do? All right, Shumo Kiki will inbound in the backcourt for Harper. And we are underway here in the second half. Auburn only down by six against the number five team in the country. Well, we might go to Ochiki the first time. Or Spencer. Now to Chuma against Williams. Back out to Harper. Harper down the right sideline. Harper a three over Grant Williams. Missed it long in Tennessee, the rebound. Get back. They got a guy out ahead of us. They, they throw that at the half. Turner, corner for Bone. Guarded by Harper. We cannot let him get a catch and shoot situation. Bones, he can make it. Williams wants it, takes it left side outside the arc. We got to help. Nine to shoot against Okiki. Just pushes him, pushes him, falling away shooting. Messed it off the glass, too hard. Rebound Push backside, it. Bryce Brown. Bryce, right wing, they leave him open. Got it. That's what we need. Living by the three, living large. Keep it up. Boy, if you're Tennessee, how do you not put somebody in his face? We, we're beating people down the floor. They're also beating people. Whoever gets done, soft beating, we're going to be better off. Schofield in front of his own bench. He was out most of the half. Here's a wide open bone. You can't leave him open either. Oh, he missed it. Tapped up. No, Spencer the rebound. Run on him. Up ahead, Harper on the break. Alley-oop. Dunbar fouled hard underneath, and Malik's well, slow to get up. Rod, their philosophy is do not give up a layup. Yep. Give the foul, give the foul hard, and don't give up a layup. Well, they're living by what he told them right there. Malik's holding that stomach. Well, that's been an injury, but him, that's a pretty good foul, especially with the hip. Do you see him stick that hip out there? Yes. You can get run out of a game for that time of play. Dunbar at the line. First one is up and good. Nothing but net for Malik. It's a two-point game. Malik's been pretty steady so far. I'd like to see him get on fire as a, as a senior on his last trip. That stomach's bothering him. That oblique muscle's bothering him. He's grabbing it. He's going to try and cut this thing to one here, though. Well, he can put save on that tomorrow. He's got to play tough all the time, and he's doing it right now. We're not going to. We are. I thought we might press some, but we're not. Both of them good. One-point game, 41-40. Auburn's open the half on a 5 nothing run. Right sideline for Turner. Feeds it to Schofield. Short corner against Dunbar. Works on Malik. Falling away. Shooting. Missing it long. Rebound Okiki. Outlet to Brown. Tigers can take the lead. Bryce pulls up on the wing against Williams. Bounces it in to Spencer. Kicks it over to Dunbar. Out to Harper. Top to Okiki. Right wing Bryce Brown. 19 to shoot. Bryce. Free throw line is fouled as he forces the shot up. And that's three on Schofield. And that was a terrific play. He looked like he was open. He knew he wasn't. Schofield was coming. He pumped fake, leaned to the right, so Coach Schofield runs into it. What a play by Bryce Brown. Admiral Schofield did think it was a foul. If the Jared Harper foul was a foul at the end of the half, that's well, a foul here. That that foul occurred up above the waist that, that he just had. Bryce so Brown they're, rolls they're it in. call that one. Bryce rolls it in. It's a tie game. Here comes Bowden. He had a huge first half with 12 points. Well, we need Schofield over on the bench. We can stop Schofield. He's a hard guy to stop. Brown, second one. Good. And Auburn has their first lead since it was 3-2. to two. All right, we're pressing. 42-41, Auburn. Bowden bounces it up the floor to the right side. Guarded by Ochuma. Top of the key. Feeds it in. Mid lane to Williams. And they yeah, get a reach a, in on Bryce Brown. Yeah, yeah, he was holding him around a ways. But now, thing about it, that's a good foul. I think it is, too, because that was, going, foul, that was going that, to be an easy two. That's a dead layup is what it was, and we took it away. First on Bryce. You know, we were refereeing pretty good to start this high. Bruce Pearl all the way out to midcourt, and he's going to get a warning. And he has to. It's just, I mean. What happened? He gets a warning because uh, Coach Pearl is all the way out at midcourt. Well, he, on the sideline, trying to bark signals. Now, yeah, get him. now, now, keep an eye on Rick Barnes as well. That's all you asked for. Lob into Williams in the corner. Guarded by Malik. Spins on Malik. Lost it, got it back. Out top, Bone. Back into Williams. Oh, beautiful spin move. Goes up, gets fouled. I don't know who got him. Might have been, might have been. Uh, it Horace. was either Malik or Horace. I think Horace probably got it. No, they're putting down number two. 
Or two shots, what he's yeah. saying. Spencer picked up the foul. Spencer, yeah, I would have called it on Spencer. Of course, if it had been me, I wouldn't have called anything. I tell you what, Grant Williams, he's a terrific player. Do oh, not man. get me wrong, but he gets away with a lot more than most. You can't defend well, him close at all. What he does is he bumps you off of him. And you have a tendency to foul him when he's bumping you off because you're off balance when sure. you go up to defend his shot. Free throw, good. He has 11. Auburn basketball is brought to you in part by the Auburn Opelika Tourism Bureau. Check out all the upcoming events going on in the area at aotourism.com. He gives Tennessee the lead back, 43-42. 17-42 to go on the half. Harper crosses over midcourt. Out there inside a center circle against Bone. Crossover, drive, leans in, charge. Drawn by Williams. That's a good call. That's three, isn't it? On Harper. Number three. Yep. That's not good. We got to have him. Uh, that was a correct call. We can't, we can't jump on that one. Fulkerson inbounds it to Bone. Yeah, now, now Tennessee, they're mature enough to know they can take it right at Harper. He no, they will, too. Yeah, he can't defend very hard while he's out on the floor right now. Still 17-20 to go. Tennessee up by one. Bone out front, guarded by Brown. Slides left, picks up the dribble. Now to Turner with six. Guarded by Harper. Drives, kicks it in the far corner. Bound for three. Got it. Oh, oh, he's, the shot clock. Well, he's, they're running the shot clock down and getting good shots. We run it down. We're not getting good shots. We've got to get better shots. 46-42. Auburn had a one-point lead for just a little bit. Now Tennessee back up by four with 16-47. Chuma. Here's a pull up two left side. Too hard. Rebound turn. Well, oh, it was a good-looking shot, though. You get that shot, you got to take it. And against Tennessee, you cannot miss good looks. No. You just can't. The margin of error is next to nothing. They're that good. Or Spencer is hurt. Turner, three on the way. Air ball in the hands of Chumo Kiki. Up ahead to Harper. Tigers down by four of the basketball. Jarrett works on Turner in traffic. And a reach-in foul finally, Bruce Pearl says. Turner picks up the foul. That's his second. He takes it on the inbounds from Dunbar. Now to Chuma. Comes to Bryce Brown on the right wing. Brown backs it up right side. 13 to shoot. Bryce, a three over Fulkerson. No short. No, I thought it was going to bounce long and get it back. Bound with the rebound. He's been right place, right time. Every single time, it seems like he's been out on the floor. He's had a terrific game. Up by four, the basketball. Inside a pass stolen by Dunbar. Malik down the floor. Down the floor against Fulkerson. He's fouled going up. Fulkerson picks up his first. One bounce of the ball, and the senior puts it up. In and out. Get in it. Get in. We got to have those things. That was down in the hole. Four or five and a half from the free throw line now. That was Auburn's first miss. First miss. Four for four prior to that. Well, we got to stop Bowden somewhere, Rod. I don't know what. Maybe I got a gun or something. Both of them short. Short. Missed them both. We got to have the dead ball points now. Against a team like Tennessee, you cannot miss out on any opportunity. That's exactly right. Bone drives underneath, runs through to the left side. 13 to shoot, a four-point lead. Schofield at the top to Bone on the wing, nine to shoot. Guarded by Brown. Entry for Schofield, by, guarded by Chuma. Foul. Schofield big and strong and... I guess they got uh, Chuma on the, got him forget yeah, Schofield I'd on the elbow. I'd like to see a replay on that. That's the first on Chuma. Schofield, a 72% free throw shooter. It's a five-point Tennessee there lead. Was, there was no foul there. No foul there. Absolutely no foul. Second one. And out back in again. Tennessee a perfect six of six from the line. Yeah, down. whoever called that one salted one away for Tennessee is what he did. Now Tennessee, both Auburn and Tennessee have gone on a 7 nothing run. McCormick forces the issue at the other end. Gets fouled by Bowden going up for the shot. And uh, for Bowden, that's his first. 
Now he's not been a great free throw shooter, but he's getting better every time we play. I shouldn't even said anything. Harmon has missed their last three opportunities from the free throw line. Got to get going, guys. Down by Let's six. Go. 15, 12, clock is stopped. We'll make this one. Yep. Got nothing but net for a five point game. McCormick with three in the game. Jared Harper on the bench with three fouls. Ballman can just stay kind of within this. Oh, yeah. Anywhere from two to six, seven range while Harper is on the bench is a big deal. Pull up Jay for Schofield. Short, but nobody blocked out Williams. Well, we had him blocked out, but it was a short guy. We got a switch, and that was bad. Seven point lead for Tennessee, 50 to 43. They've led by as many as 11. Samir Dowdy out on the floor now. He has it. Reverses it right to Chuma. Three over Grant Jinder. Williams. Let's go! I've seen so many shots over the year, I can call them ahead of time. <laughs> it was in there, folks, and I knew it. 50 to 46. Auburn cuts it to four. Crowd on their feet. Turner crosses over center court against Bryce Brown. Don't foul him. Angles left here. Spins. Left sideline for Jalen Johnson. To Schofield at the top. Nine to shoot. And Chuma picked his pocket. Chuma on the run. Chuma with the jam. Boy, is, he, game. is he a great defender or what? 50 to 48. Tennessee wanted to run. Auburn got back. Turner. Out between the rings. Left wing for Bowden, guarded by Dowdy. Drives underneath on Samir. He fouled And he fouled him. Got up Shouldn't in there. Have. Yep. Samir got beat on the dribble. Yeah. We our, our deal is to force him towards the baseline, and he overforced. He gave him too much of a lane to drive, and it's because of his size, I think. He doesn't weigh a lot, and anybody can, can overpower him on the dribble. First on Samir, about an 88% free throw shooter. First one good. Bowden averages 10 points per game. He had 12 or 15 in the first half. He'd already had 10 before we realized better guard him, I think. You know, he yeah. got off to such a quick start. He came in off the bench, I believe, right? Yep. Missed the second three-point game. All right. Let's get a good look. We don't have to get it on the first shot. First pass, I'm sorry. Bryce Brown in front of his own bench. Bryce backs up left side against Schofield. Drives to the rim. Kick out. Dowdy slides left. Shoots the three. No. Long rebound to Bowden. Up ahead to Bone and three-point lead for Tennessee. Got a good look. Auburn's had some good looks. They haven't been able to cash in on No, them. they're not cashing in on the good looks. Bone high on the right side. Got to get on Williams. 14 to shoot. Bone. Back out to Schofield. Around the bound with nine. Guarded by Dowdy. Kick out to Schofield. That's where he likes to shoot it. And he made it. Oh, boy. You called it a scouting report on that. That's man. He's been on that bench so long. We need to get him back there again. Was he got seven points now? Ten after that three. And it's back to a six-point Auburn lead. 54 or a Tennessee lead. 54-48. Chuma. An open three. He hit it. Foul caught on the floor before the shot against Tennessee. That's the right call, unfortunately. You need, listen, you need some breaks when you play a team like Tennessee. We're not Auburn's getting, not getting any of them. We're not getting them. Any of them. But that probably was the right call. I don't know. No question that was the right call. We may not get another call. <laughs> Here's Macklemore over to Javon. 54-48 volunteers. 12-41 to go in the game. McCormick hands it off to Hart or to a Bryce Brown out of Dowdy with six. Dowdy with five. Reverses to Chuma with three. Pull up. Nope. Kick out to Dowdy. Long, long three. Got it! Oh, he hit that one from way out. Great patience. Brilliant ball movement. Got a big time three. Now got to get a stop without a foul. 54-51 Tennessee. Boom. Drives. To the rim. Too hard. Nobody blocked out Alexander, and he banks it in. Yeah, Okiki missed the man he was supposed to pick up on a switch. It was actually his fault. McCormick to the rim, banks it in. Javon McCormick initiated contact, didn't get called. But Auburn cuts it back to three, 56-53, with 11.50 to go. High screen from Williams, Bone on the bounce. Left wing for, uh, for Bone. 
The junior from Nashville, Tennessee. Gets rid of it to Turner. Back out front to Bone. Nine on the shot clock. Down to eight. Williams wants it. Bone with six. Bone fading away, shooting the three. Missed it. Williams gets the rebound. But, and he walked. No, they no, called a foul. Him. We called foul. He walked before he fouled. I'm telling you, he walked before yeah, he got fouled. I didn't see that. I, I, I saw the call, though. I have never in my life seen a man get more calls than Grant Williams does. He's an outstanding player. Yeah, he walked he right walked. there. <laughs> Looking to trigger in. Inbounds, knocked away by Okiki, and picked out of the way there by Chuma. Ahead to McCormick, and he lost it to uh, Samir Dowdy. Back out to Javon for three, and the tie, no. Rebound, McLemore to the deck, picked up by Okiki. Out front to Javon, now to Bryce, and Auburn can settle it down. Javon should have had us a layup in. He was looking at the goal instead of the ball, and he missed on chance. Auburn down by three with the basketball. McCormick on the bounce between the rings. High screen from McLemore with 10. Javon with seven, out to Bryce with six. Bryce against Turner. Lost the dribble, got it back, and he's fouled. Good job by Bryce to get he into that him, foul. To get the foul on Turner, and he'll get three free ones with 10.46 to go. That's a senior move right there. That was a spectacular, well-thought-out move. Knowing the clock was going down, jumps in the guy a little bit, and the guy hammers him. Looked like a knockdown in the WWE fight. 10.46 to go. Now, I'll tell you what, Tennessee does more time talking, uh, spends more time talking to the officials than... Uh, most teams I've seen. Turner well, and Bowen were you talking can, to one of the officials as Bryce Brown makes the first of three. You can see that it works. Check out that first A. <laughs> Auburn is hanging in there. And you know there's nothing you can do about the officiating if you're no. Auburn. you just got to be better. Well, is it, it, it. Second one, no. no short. Come on, man. Come on, man. Auburn's free throw shooting it. This is, is killing it right now in the second half. Killing them. If they were to win, is that solidify a number one seed maybe? Four. We got more. We, we need this win more than they do. Third one good. Auburn basketball brought to you in part by East Alabama Medical Center. Well prepared for you. Auburn's cut it to one. 56-55. Harper back in with 10.46 to go. We got to get somebody out of the game. Oh, we got, we got the two small guards in the game. Bryce Brown checked out. Get him a little breather. Bone races up the floor. Got him with the hip. And a foul uh, he, call. He shouldn't have called it. 35 feet from the basket. Joe Lindsay with the call. Auburn got him with the hip. It's, it's odd, though, that Tennessee gets a lot of these, I don't know, I, I guess they've always been called ticky-tack fouls, and sometimes they're not called at all well, against other like, opponents. You said it start to half. They're going to tighten up on the calls. One plus one. The one is no good. Auburn can take the lead. 10.35 right. to go. McCormick crosses midcourt. Penetration, and you'll get a foul. To McLemore. Now to Harper. To Javon with 18. Javon to the top. Now to Samir on the wing. Samir inside to McCormick, or rather to McLemore. And guess what just happened? A bad Brad call. Williams was called for the foul. I think Auburn may have gotten a break there. Grant Williams thought well. it was a jump ball. They got him with the foul, and that's his second of the night. Everybody with an honest heart thought it's a jump ball, but I'm glad. I'm glad he was wrong. I tell you what. I'm looking at the replay. Did he, he got him on the forearm. Oh he got man. him on the forearm. Well, McLemore I, ties I, I, it up. I missed two calls today. Anthony McLemore can give Auburn the lead after making the first. 56-56. Turner give comes in. Lead. Grant Williams goes out. Let the noose get tied on them. Second one for Anthony. Up. Good. Auburn lead. All right. We don't need it. Uh, Okiki wants to press every time. 57-56. Auburn Arena. Loud and proud. Bone lays it in on a foul. His Oh, that's, I don't know what you could say. Other that's than Anthony did. McLemore's fault. He should have fallen off his guy and gone over there and protected that play. 58-57, Tennessee. What people got to understand, we turn people to the outside and toward the baseline. That means our help side is going to have to help us a lot. On that situation, our big guys did not. And Anthony's going to the bench because of it. McCormick picked up the foul, his second. Spencer in. Free throw up. 
And good by Bone. It's a two-point Tennessee lead. Nine. They don't they don't let you stay out in front for very long. They come up with a big play. No, they're good. They're very they're good. good. McCormick to Chuma at the top of the key. Chuma fakes the pass, drives on Schofield, banks it in with time. What a player. He drove it to the goal, stopped, pump faked the guy, and went up and shot it with his left hand. What a player. Well, he knew Schofield was out there with three fouls. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. We've been going to Schofield's man, and that's, that's good coaching. Tied at 59. Left wing Fountain against Samir Dowdy. Down to the baseline. Throws it back out to Stolen. Deflected and stolen. Auburn can reclaim the lead. McCormick to Harper for three. Blocked it. Short. Long rebound to Jared. Throws it back out. Here's McCormick on the drive. Up. Good! Oh! <laughs> well, they're even. He got fouled down below, and they didn't call it then either. 9-10 to go. They're not going to call that. I, I, I'm going to stop getting on them about it. 61, 59. Boom. Left side. Top of the key, Schofield. Flips it over here. Out of bounds. McCormick deflected it. He'll go back to Tennessee. Correct call. Javon anticipated that one nicely. Bone holds it on his right hip. Puts it on the floor with seven. Shoves off with six. Down to five. Down to three. Bone crosses over with two. Lost it with one. They will not get the shot off. He never looked. Great. He never looked at the shot. Great clock. defense what caused that. They had one deflection that made that clock run more than he thought. Hey, get a good look this time. Get a good look. 8.40 to go, two-point Auburn lead. I'll take any shot, but a three may blow the roof off this joint. They go inside to Chuma against Schofield. Turn, shoot, score! <laughs> what a move. What a play. 22 for Okiki. 63-59. Don't foul. Auburn on a 6-0 run to take a two-point, four-point lead. Bone at the top of the key to Laurente Turner, to Schofield. Up, in and out, tapped up, no, tapped up again. Harper pulls it down. Harper up the floor. Harper to Dowdy. Dowdy to the rim, lays it up. He's fouled. He missed the shot, but he's going to line uh, for two. He should have laid that ball in. He was looking for the foul. He had a wide open layup. You better make those free throws. I'm going to be mad at you. Dowdy to the line. Foul on Alexander, his third. Hey, Rod, if I ask you how many steals we got compared to them, what you, don't look. I'm looking. I'm, oh, I know you look. That's Dowdy right. makes it. How many, how would you say we had? Well, let's just, I'm going to cheat. Nine I already know. steals. Nine steals. Put that in your, put that in your pot and smoke it or whatever you're supposed to say. I don't know what to say. Pipe. That, yeah, pipe. Put that in your pipe and smoke. We didn't use pipes up in Rhone Mountain. We put it right in the mouth. <laughs> oh, down Get in there. Missed the second. Oh, I got to shut the up. first, 64, 59, 758 to go. Bone at midcourt against McCormick. Auburn's defense has turned up the wick. 18 to shoot. Well, Williams. he's going to the Left goal the now. Hole. Help him. Help him. Don't foul him. Kick out to Bone for three. Got it. No, oh, man. You don't want to kick. He's great at that kick out. 64-62. Two-point Auburn lead. Daniel Purifoy in the game as McCormick dribbles over in front of the Auburn bench to get the call. Javon hands it off to Dowdy. Dowdy drives on Bowden. Euro step. Kick out. Purifoy launches the three. No. Rebound underneath the Williams. Had another good look. And missed it. Oh, he should have taken a layup try. We had a layup try on a Euro step. 64-62. Bone angling left front court. Now to Bowden. Dowdy on him to Williams. Left to the keyhole with 15. Backs Horace Spencer into the paint. Up. Blocked. Got it back. Up. Yeah. Blocked again. And Auburn out of there with it. Two blocks by Spencer. Harper races down the floor. Up off the glass. Good. Woo! <laughs> I love it. 66-62 Auburn. Oh, what a game. Turner for three. Got it. Oh, off the rim. No good. Out of bounds. Saved by McCormick into Williams. Should have let it go. Because Bowden's about to make a three. No, oh, he tapped it up. No. And uh, in by Turner. Well, we were out called by Tennessee. Auburn shot the ball very well in the second half. Nine for 16 for 56%. Tennessee, not so much. All right. At 35. Auburn the basketball. We need to get a touch this time. Harper. 
at the wing. Kicks it over in the corner. Bryce Brown, a three. Got it. Well, out of a timeout, Yusuf gets something good for the Tigers, and they got it then. Jared Harper to... Bryce Brown makes Bryce it 69-64. Schofield around to Turner. Turner inside the arc, picks up the dribble. Short bounce pass to Williams. Back out it comes to Turner. Round a screen. Yeah. Turner launches a three. Short. Rebound. Inside. Williams laid it in. And, oh, and a foul on Horace Spencer. Coming over the back on Williams, who laid it in. I want to see that well, because if it was a foul, it wasn't it, much of if one. If they the foul, it was after the bucket went in. Well, it's a foul on Grant Williams will get that call every single time. No one else in the league will get it. No. But he's an outstanding player, and you just have to live with it. 5.55 well, to go. Timeout on the floor. Auburn trail or leads by six. Grant Williams can cut it to two when we return. One away each from the double bonus. Williams and and out he missed it. Spencer the rebound and Auburn maintains a three-point lead. That rarely happens. All right. Something good's going to happen this time. Harper. Tom Toms it into the front court with the right hand. Hands it to Dowdy. Out front to Chuma. Chuma on the left wing. Swings it back out to Spencer. Cross to Harper. 13 to shoot. Harper. Now to Bryce with 10. Jared comes All to right. get it at midcourt with eight. Flat now. Guarded by Bowden with six. Long, long three for Harper. Missed it. Rebound controlled off of Williams out of bounds. He stepped on the end line. Tigers will get it back. All right. Now, on that shot clock, we get a new shot clock after that. Yes, sir. Hit the rim, didn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Now, I, I don't know many rules, but I think I know that one. Uh, but I know one thing. We're going to get a good shot. We always do on out of bounds plays. Chuma, short pass in to uh, Dowdy. Back out to Harper. 28 to shoot. We're only going for the... We're going to isolate this time. Guarded by Bone. Harper around the left side. Flips it back to Bryce Brown. Shoots a three from the top of the key. Long rebound. Spencer kept it alive. Went into the hands of Bone. Spencer's all over the board, but he can't come up with it when it bounces so high. Tennessee can tie with the three. Schofield. Round it goes to Turner. Out front to Bowden. 18 to shoot over. It goes to Bone in front of the uh, Tennessee bench. Now to Williams at the tops. Grant Williams. Works on Horace. Lays it in and a foul. Who got him? Horace. Horace is working his tail off, but you can't breathe on Grant Williams without getting a whistle. And he can tie it up now with 4.49 to go. He must have breathed on him pretty hard because I did not see a foul. We're looking to look at it right now. Yeah, he, he fouled got him it, down got, around the... Kind of got his hand. arm up underneath his. Good call. Good call. We've had a fairly good call game. Williams ties it up. 69, 449 to go. All right. We don't need to take a bad shot. We can get a good shot against this team. They got some foul problems just like we do. McLemore in. Here's Bryce Brown at the top of the key. Now to Chuma. Swings it over to Bryce. Get a, shot, get a shot inside. Now to McLemore. Out to Harper. 13 on the shot clock. Auburn's got a reset now. We're going to set a, a high ball screen right now. We usually get a popper on this. Harper's got to launch one here. Cross court, Dowdy with two, with one, puts it up. Off the iron, Tennessee lets it go out of bounds. That was a not very good possession. We took a little too much time off to start the play. Yep. Tennessee with some good defense. Yes, that's right. I hate to say that, but that's right. Well, if the volunteers can retake the lead. Crowd right. back to their feet. Got, got to get got to get the crowd out of the out, back in the game for us and out of the crowd for them. Let's get a stop. Turner now to Bowden. We're playing a zone, right? Williams. We're playing a zone, right? Right side line for Turner. Cross out to uh, top to Bone. Nine on the shot clock. Down to seven. Corner for Bound against Chuma. Inside Williams. Had it swatted out of his hands. Bryce uh, Brown runs it down. Great Dowdy. defense. Dowdy knocked it out of his hand. Bryce out to Harper. All right. Let's get a good shot this time. Not run the clock all the way down. Now there's the ball right there. Entry for Chuma. Works on Williams. Back out to Harper. He'll drive, mid lane, kick out, Brown. Bryce drives, kick out, Harper, open three at the top. Good! Yeah. 72-69, Tigers, bound left wide open. Missed it, rebound, tapped up, into the corner, downy the rebound. All right, slow it down, get a shot. Get Harper. a shot. 
with the left hand crosses midcourt. 72-69 Tigers. 3-0-1 to go. What a game. High ball screen against what we need. Harper. Ahead to Chuma. Seven to shoot for Chuma. Chuma crosses over, lost it. Got it back. Kick out. Harper slides left. Another three. It's tapped in again by McLemore. He missed the shot, and McLemore tapped it in. And Auburn leads 75-69. No fouls. No fouls. 74-69. Or did they say it was a three? It was a two. Schofield wide open. Got it. No, uh, we can't let him get wide open. Now, we need to take a little time off, but not too much. Give us a chance to get a second shot out of this. High ball screen has been our best play. They did say that was a three. McLemore didn't touch it. Three-point Auburn lead. Harper to Dowdy. Inside to Chuma. Chuma double teamed, and the ball taken away. Good defense by Tennessee with 2.01 to go. All right, we have to have a stop here. Guard Schofield and Bowden. They're going to go into Williams to try to get a three-point yeah, well, play. Yeah, we can't stop that one. But we can not Bowden and Schofield. Turner around the right side. Now to Schofield, three over Chuma. <laughs> Missed it. Rebound Brown. Rice. He was trying to get a foul called and didn't get it. Auburn got a, got, got, got a little bit of a break there against the number five team. Got a guy with a... Uh, I problem. I think Anthony McLemore may have lost a contact. Well, minute 35 to go. Auburn 75, Tennessee 72. The Tigers trying to pull off the upset here at home over number five, Tennessee. And we're getting down to cases. Enter the Nissan, own the paint sweepstakes, and show everyone how big a fan you really are. They're going to leave Dowdy more open than anybody else. I think you should go to Dowdy and kick it inside to Okiki and get us a two. Inbounds to McLemore. Harper was falling down. Crowd wanted a foul. I think he just kind of lost his balance. So now 15 to shoot. Turner on Harper. Harper around the left side. Harper between the rings now. Nine to shoot for Auburn. Backs right, it up. Flattening out for Oki for Harper. Harper drives down the lane. Scoops it up. Had it blocked. Samir with the catch and shoot. And he made it. Samir Dowdy on the block. Buries the three. And Auburn leads by six. Yeehaw. 78-72. Bone, left wing. Bone, top of the key. Williams spins in the paint, scoops it up. No, but he's fouled by he Anthony him. McLemore. He got him. And that's the first on Anthony. Actually, the second on yeah, Anthony. He should have been up there clogging up that lane, but he was so fair of his man getting the ball. 57 seconds. Clock is stopped. Grant Williams goes to the line. Auburn up by six. He did miss. I assume. Williams makes the first. It's a five-point game. All right. Now make sure we block out in case he misses it like he did before. And we got a lot to think about with 57 seconds. Both good. 21 for uh, Williams. All right. Two-possession game. 78-74. Under a minute to go. All right. We'll run some time off here, I'm sure. Harper over the timeline against Turner. He's got to right be aware side of the floor. Turner's hands. He has really good hands on defense. 16 to shoot. All right, it's time to start setting something up right now. With 12. Harper against Turner with 10. Harper around to Okiki screen with 8. Backs up with 7. Drives on Williams with 6. To the rim. Up on the scoop. No, but a foul caught on Schofield. And Harper with 31.1 to go. Will go to the line for 2. Well, I can tell you one thing. He finally got a call. He got a call. And he deserved a call because they've missed about two or three of those. Because of his size, they can hit him anywhere except above the waist, and they won't get the call. But he got it then. What's then. on the line? If Auburn wins, they're either the four or the five seed. All right. Harper. First one. Good. Seventy-nine, seventy-four. This one to make it a six-point game with 31.1 to go. Deep breath. Free throw. Strip. 80 to 74, Tigers. Don't foul him. Bone races up the Don't floor. Don't foul him. Back it goes to Turner. Corner, Bone, three. Short. Rebound on the backside. Williams came over the back to get the rebound, but he was hooked underneath. And now Williams begging for that 
that new flagrant that they have now when you hook a guy under his arm. He got the call at Vanderbilt, and it wasn't a hook. Yep, flagrant one. Flagrant one foul. Yep, flagrant one foul on the hook. So that's two free throws. And then the ball for Tennessee with 23.1 to go. Now, if you're Auburn, you just got, you got to put it behind you. You can't. No, do. They you, will. You cannot let this affect you. So Williams at the line for two, and then they'll have the ball. Let them have it. That's a terrible. I think that's a terrible play. Williams first free throw, rolls in five point game, 80 to 75. Second one coming up for Williams. Good, 80 to 76. Now Tennessee will have the ball with 23.1 to now, go. You can't foul a you can't foul a jump shoot. Uh, you can't foul a three point shooter. And you got to get the ball inbounds to shooters when they get it. Bone will inbound. Shot clock is off. Bone looking, looking. Timeout. Tennessee. They have one left. I've ever seen. Here comes the crowd. Out of the timeout. It will be Bone again. They slide right to his bucket. Again, the shot clock is off with 23.1 to go. Now, we can't let him score quick. We can't let him get a three-point shot out of it. He'll just lob it up to Williams, and he puts it in. Went right over the back of Macklemore. Two-point lead, and Harper's fouled in backcourt with 20.4 to go. 80 to 78. Harper goes to the line. And that's Schofield's fifth. They got six points out of that deal. Or Spencer will six check points. in. All right. The emotions yeah. are running high here. Both teams need to be careful. Well, how, how many timeouts we got here? Tennessee has one. Auburn has three. All right. We, we might need to use one of ours just to make put a little. Alexander comes in. Harper will go the line with 20.4 to go. And I'm not sure what. Phil really? Lindsay wants to. Let's get this thing going. Well. All right. Harper at the line. Here we go. Big free throws coming up here for Jared. He's got to make these. First one rolls in off the front iron. It's a three-point Auburn lead. This is the big one. Spencer in for McLemore. Make this thing. 81 big 78. Make this thing, big fella, and the referee will have to invent a call to get us to win the game. Up. Yeah. Good. Four point armor lead. All right, now don't foul a three point shooter. Don't foul a three point shooter. Timeout. Good call. 12 times Auburn's won the battle 17 5 on points off turnovers. Auburn yeah. is 13 and 2 this year when they score more than 80 points. Now, they have 82 right now. If you're going to pick them up down here, that's just to slow them down. You don't want you don't want to fat, get a foul down here because they'll call a touch. Bone along the line, fires it in to Turner, 18 across midcourt. Straight by Alexander, jumps it over here to Bone. Long, long three off the iron. No, Alexander fights for the rebound, gets it, tapped out of his don't pass to Bowden, stripped out of his hands, off of Bowden, out of bounds. Tigers have it with 6.8 to go. Defense, defense, defense. Lord have mercy. I love it. Get the ball in bounds. Go to the house. They call a timeout. Listen to this place. Well, you talk about playing under pressure and, and making it happen. These Auburn Tigers today did that. They really did that. They took care of the basketball better than Tennessee. They made free throws when they had to. A good night. They rebounded the ball not as good as Tennessee, but you think of the last game as better rebound than it was the last game we played. We still won. We can win without rebounds, but we got to do the good things like we did today. Hey, you know, I'm going to duck if we win. I think crowd's going to go right over top of me. What do you think? They better not. Crowd, crowd's going right over top of Town to climb over Vital, not us. Oh, they love Vital. They, they step on our heads. <laughs> we got to talk to them about that. Okay, here we go. All Shumo right. Kiki to trigger. Now, we can't foul. We can't push off and foul. That's another thing. They put .7 seconds back on, so 7.5 to go. Inbounds in the backcourt for the Samir Dowdy. shooter we got. And Bowden fouls him quickly. 5.4 to go. From a stat standpoint, he's the best we have. 
82-78, Auburn with the lead. He's the second best. He's dropped off a little bit lately. He shoots 81% from the line. Uh, I believe I'd take our guys off the line. Free throw good. Get off the line. We don't need you. Downey was seven. Second one good. Six-point game with 5.4 to go. 84-78. Auburn him. smells it. Doubt him. Doubt him. Foul. Ball. Don't foul him. Pulls up. Shoots the two off the glass. That's it. Number five goes down in the jungle. Auburn 84. Tennessee 80. The seniors are on our stable celebrating with the jungle. How about that? 84, Tennessee 80. And somebody's standing on my head. Maybe that'll help you net. Oh, okay, it might help my net. Auburn wins. Auburn wins. Number five, Tennessee goes down. The Tigers 84. The Volunteers 80. What a game. Well, you, you can go to a number of things that won this game. But you can, best you can say is the Auburn Tigers won this game. They Defense. won it playing together. You know, you think about this. Dowdy made the play of the game right over there by the bench with the seal that he made. And you know, Well, you think about Let's stop with Dowdy right there real it, quick. Yeah. The block shot down here. It was blocked right to Samir, and he hits the three to give Auburn the oh, six-point yeah. lead. That was the play of the game. And then the Who blocked the shot? we uh, got to give him a lot of credit. And then Dowdy down here with the strip, out of bounds, out off of bounds. bounds. You better get old Dowdy over here. Wow, what a way to end the regular season. Coach Pearl rightfully soaking it up. What is going through your mind right now as you take in all the emotions of this crowd? Happy for this basketball program. Happy for Charles Barkley. He's back in the studio listening. Happy for Bryce Brown and, and our new athletic director, Alan Green, my coaches and players and his family. That's a great basketball team we win. It's awesome to have Dickie V and Bob and Allison, you with a baby, here to help us celebrate. Obviously a big win for your program. What was required? second half to get it done. Well, I thought we kind of wore them out a little bit in the first half. And, and with, that, with, that, with that burst, and I didn't call many timeouts because I wanted to wear them out. We, we locked in better defensively. Our players made plays. And we couldn't have done it outside of Auburn Arena. Think about this community. It's spring break. The kids could have left. They didn't. This community has been through so much yeah. with the tornadoes. What does this win mean to them? Monday, we're going to be at Beauregard Elementary. Tuesday, we're going to be there when the students come back. We're going to love on them. We can't replace the ones that are lost, but we can mourn them, we can honor them, and we can rebuild. And that's what we're going to do. Chris, thank you so much. Congratulations. Stop. What a performance by Bruce Pearl's team. Only five turnovers all day, a season low. And on senior day, this kind of emotion, a win over a top five team for the first time since 1994. Hey, what about a performance by Bruce Perry? I mean, you performed brilliantly on that sideline and what he's done to rejuvenate and create basketball better. He gave a shout out to Barkley, who's in the studio, the Real Man Arena. And Sonny Spico, wow, for the coach here. He's hugging everybody. Look at him. Look at him. You better watch out. Come down. Have a heart attack. Where he's going. Oh, man. He's all fired up. One win it. for Auburn. 84-80. They take out Tennessee.